Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Megacorp. We are, by and large, corporation expanding new markets and franchising if we have to. My name is Darwin and I play video games. Welcome back, everyone. So in our last episode, we met the League of Jaro over here and we do have a new branch office on Jago. We are currently building a private research enterprise to boost our own research. Um, it will provide them a little bit of a benefit here by giving them some clerk jobs, but that's all right because we like that research. We also opened up into a research agreement with them. And that's good. They're going to be good friends. We're going to franchise the heck out of their colonies and uh, hopefully make a lot of good money off of them and get a whole bunch of other benefits as well there. So, let's see. Signs of battle. There's clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in close order to Bardigan at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the moon is pockmarked with craters from stray weapons blasts, and scans from the Clark have picked up several hulks on the ground. Ooh, graveyard expedition. Intriguing. So we're going to do this, and we're going to say, research this project first. Let's get that going. So our starting location isn't that great, but we're doing all right, I think. Um, better than I actually expected when we started this game. Um, we are a little bit closed off, so I'm hoping expansion in this direction will lead us into um, something more than just being trapped between <laughs> the Dis League, who really hates us, um, and our friends here in the League of Jago. Um, our pathway out, however, is through Jago. And that could definitely be a little bit awkward if we uh, end up not having friendly relations with them. All right, so we got the star base there in Murfred. We do have a wormhole, so that could be an out, but we do need to get that technology to pop so we can stabilize the wormhole. Uh, we have an ocean world over here. Um, in the in this game, we do have a uh, empire cohesion. So we are currently at 84% uh, because of external hyperlanes. So we definitely want to close up some of those extra hyperlanes. And we're going to look at consolidating there uh, for a little bit. Um, down here is going to be a little bit worrisome until we kind of get to we this point, And that's fine. Special project completed. Team under science officer Peter Becker to finish their expedition to Bardigan 2B and return to the Clark. Sadly, the Rex starships and the surface too badly damaged. All right, well, we gave that planet a modifier, and where's that? That's down here in Bardigan. Yeah. All right. Governor leveled up. Um, oh, yeah, we got a new leader last time. So Gisela Wagner, who was one of our scientists, um, who only has additional lifespan. Um, our agenda, scientific leap. So we do get extra research speed, so that's actually going to be kind of good um, on top of our ascension perk so that's a total of plus 20 percent our technology is going to start skyrocketing which is going to be nice uh food from farmers plus 10 percent unlocks farming subsidies great what can we get um hydroparticles farms we don't need that clearing tile blockers don't really need that yet gene clinics um turning consumer goods into amenities and pop growth speed that could be good Food processing facilities, uh, food from farmers, and farmers produce food. Well, we know farmers produce food. Um, I don't really think we need that. So we might do gene clinics because we will have an amenities issue. Um, Earth looks like it popped up here. We are going to do more alloys. Where we have our alloy foundries, we're going to build that there. And not sure what our next district will be. Um, probably, I don't know, maybe more mining or maybe some more farming. Although Alpha Centauri is turning into our farming zone. So two pops there. We're not going to worry too much about that right now. Uh, star patterns. The latest sensory readings from Rana show the star pulse setting regularly. Um, we're just going to take the influence. I don't need a paranoid scientist coming at me right now. All right. So you over here. That's trade value. So what we're going to do. Do that. 
And then in here, how much does it take to say we want to upgrade you? 200, yep. So we're gonna build a starport right there. Go ahead, research that. Um, and that'll give us that trade value there and also protect up here. I'm not so worried about a Skellion, uh, but I do want to protect this wormhole system. So when we finally do open up that wormhole, Ooh, I found something. we're good there. And maybe that'll be our base of operations to get wherever else in the galaxy goes. This could be a good way out to new markets and new consumers, right? Do your part and put it in the cart. Um, let's see. Mublar here. All right, we're going to close off some gaps. So move to Raskamir. Yeah, Raskamir and Tisalem. Um, try to get that cohesion up. Puzzling polygon. The Voyager crews recovered the reflective polygonal object near wherever, bringing it on board for detailed study. The object's most intriguing quality is its ability to reflect most types of low-frequency energy beams directed toward it. High-frequency energy beams, however, remain unaffected, making the object's properties useless with regard to any potential fleet defense applications. Despite extensive examination, the Voyager research team has been unable to determine the function or origin of this particular polygon. It appears to be hollow, but its metalloid surface is engraved with some kind of scientific notation. Though the full meaning of this codified data eludes us, Augustina believes it relates to wormhole metrics. Our research team was able to glean some fascinating insights into wormhole theory by studying these notations. Whatever purpose this object created forever is still a mystery. Curious indeed. Ah, I was hoping we might get wormhole stabilization started, but nope, just some physics research. All right, and we did get administrative AI. So what do we got? Research station output, research complexes, deflectors, or fusion reactor. Why don't we get the fusion reactor? Um, Boom. We built something. Excellent. Build a mining station. So we have a second star base come online. And we are starting to get close to our empire size. And we're going to have another colony and the star base. Uh, mummified pilot. All right. Yep, that and that. So we're going to start hitting our cap soon. Doesn't look like star bases themselves go to the cap, so that's good. Um, but the systems are plus two each, so yeah. We're going to have to think about expansion after that. Ooh. Communications established with the Avtiran Cartel. Cartel, oh no, are these criminals? Excellent. Ruthless capitalists. They are militarist and fanatic spiritualists. Oh, we're going to be at odds with them. Bring greetings from oligarch Siv Bariv, the undisputed ruler of the Avturan cartel. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs. Oh yeah, they're a criminal syndicate. Oh, uh, we're going to have to start dealing with crime, probably. Alright, cooperation will surely benefit us all. Issue special project investigate Avturan. Alright, Mublar, you're probably going to become our, um, yeah. Boom. We built something. Do we actually have this situation log? No, we don't. Okay. Anomaly detected. Research that. Oh, we have something in Proxima Centauri. Oh, yeah. We haven't done that one yet. Uh, Voyager. I know you're assisting research, but why don't we research that anomaly? You, um, let's get that starbase output. Excellent. Huff, why don't you go get Fiesta. Pushing NS4, Clark suddenly received a lancing hit. Yep. All right. Planetary exploitation forecast complete. Hmm. All right, so we have the new star base over here, and we want. Imagine the profit margins on this tech. Trade hub to start. Approved Corvette hulls, excellent. Robot workers. Yes, please. All right. Boom. We built something. 
like that. All right. So we have that star base there. A little bit of energy. Ooh, that's a good system right there. Plus seven minerals. What's our relation with it? Minus 30. Yeah, materialist fuel fools. Boom! I found something. Oh, they closed the borders to us. All right, well, let's close borders to them. We're not a rival yet, so we're not going to rival them. Um. All right, branch offices and Jago. What's your fleet strength to us? Boom. We're equivalent in every way. Maybe we can do an ideology war to them. Gene clinics, good. Planetary capital and hall of judgment. Why don't we go for that? Merkrid. Trade hub. Excellent. And let's see. Construction complete. Additional. Why don't we do a gun battery? Right, so do we want building upkeep reduced by 10 or build cost? Um, why don't we do building upkeep first? And Etic Monolithic. Rana is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs carved with some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines definitely chart a history so fantastic it must surely be fictional. Surely. Image them for the archives. All right. You. Do we want to come out here? Resource scan complete. Why don't we move there? Building mining stations for us. Now that should help our cohesion. Yep, we're back up to 100%. Just by closing off a few systems, so that's good. Um, Murfred's going to give the gun battery. And here, Offworld Trading Company produces two trade value for each trade hub. Hmm. When we get the star hold, we'll get another. And that will actually get us up to Debix. So why don't we do this? We'll do that too. Um, Soul Station, I think we're still there. Abtrin Cartel is declared in Solar Disc League, their rival. Good. You guys fight that out. Uh, alien Mural. Ooh, cool. Log updated. Why don't we do that project right now? Maniacal Trait. Alright, excellent. So we're not a rival of them yet, so we're not going to worry about that. Um, so we're cut off down there. We are not cut off here. You're going to be researching that. And then we're going to go back to there. Alright. I'm thinking when we take Sanok. All right, uh, automated shipyard. Power can be restored. Log awesome. So we're gonna build an outpost first though, because we want that before they get it. Um, and the automated shipyard, <laughs> we found one before, and we have the BNL Axiom, which is a significant portion of our fleet power right now. Mining station on Fiesta. So, where do we want to go here? Oh! Interstellar Disc League, they are rivals there now. Okay, you boys fight it out. Ah, uh, It's time we did the Galaxy of Service for the market of your cheap off-brand knockoffs. Eww. Oh, look at you. Anomaly found. Ugly little hey. insect person. Fine. You know, I'm gonna Research rival you. Complete. Declare rivalry, confirm, just because. Alright. Hands office Meredith has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered in Rana. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes, in broad terms, the collective technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. 
Intriguing. So that's a bunch of buffs to Rana. And that's not even near us, right? Where's Rana? Yeah, it's over here. So that's probably going to benefit these guys. Oh, well. What can you do, right? Uh, Soul, how you doing? 36 of 38. Um, still not sure we want to go there. Uh, Alpha Centauri Prime. We are 3 of 4. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build that district there. Again, I want to kind of focus that one as our agricultural world. Um, and Sirius... Yeah, you're another agricultural, but we'll see. Orbital Speed Demon. Attempts to scan the object in high-speed orbit of uh, that place have been unsuccessful. The object quickly falls below its horizon, and the Voyager's engines are simply unable to keep up. While the gravitational pull is strong, that alone does little to explain the object's extreme momentum. Either the object itself possesses some extraordinary properties, or there is some gravitational phenomenon at work here. The object's velocity appears to be increasing over time, and science officer Augustina suspects that it may soon be thrown out of orbit, even without outside input. So we can try to slow it down, we can attempt to halt it, uh, we can get away from it. Um, hmm. Let's try to slow it down. The drone successfully intercepted the unknown object's orbit. By latching onto the object and then thrusting in reverse little by little, the drone was eventually able to direct it to the Voyager for retrieval. The object looks to be some sort of box constructed of alien material. Vein-like ridges meander along sides, congregating at the top in some sort of sphere-shaped mechanism. We can only guess at its concept. Open it. Study it. We'll get rid of it. Hmm. Don't want to get rid of it. Do we want to open it or study it? I mean, nothing ever goes wrong if you open, you know, alien Lock stuff, up, right? So, situation log, cracking, you open the box. Something. 31 months. Let's do it. All right. Here. Let's do the shipyard. And then hopefully get to Enost. Actually, yeah, because we don't have the influence anyway. I found something. All right, you do that. And I'm not sure what this guy's gonna do for right now. I'll just move him down here. We'll grab that in a minute. All right. Um, Construction complete. Clark. Can we automate you. Yeah, because we're not going through there. And you have Merfrid. So does this tell us anywhere where the uh, trade value is? I'm not sure. Pirate treasure. The asteroid appears to have been used intermittently as a base by a band of alien pirates roughly 1,000 years ago. A small boarding party entered the base and managed to recover their abandoned treasure hoard. Consists largely of stolen trinkets and artifacts, but some of it still appears to be of value. 5,000 credits. All right. Or 500. I think it was 500. I'll figure out this reading thing one of these days, right? Um, all right. So we have the automated Project shipyard. And Voyager. All right. What do we have? You have Maniacal, but you're also our ancient civilization expert. So do I want to put you into research? Boom. We built something. You could replace a Tharv. Research complete. We did it. Excellent. So why don't we do this? Um, where are you? Agustina, you're gonna do that. Yep. Voyager, you're going to pick up. Starve here, and you're going to go on automated. Actually, no. You are going to go to Alpha Centauri, and I know my special product's completed. Uh, where's Prime? Go here, and... Oh, we already have... Yeah, so, why don't you make the trek to Earth? 
There's this research there. All right, special project completed. Uh, Yukon is successfully restored power to the automated shipyard. Excellent, we got another ship. And then you are gonna go and you are gonna build Starbase Outpost there. What do we have here? Uh, Raider Spectre. Yeah, not so bad. R44 class, all right. So you are gonna go up to Earth and you're gonna merge with our second fleet up there. Excellent. Ooh. Oh, it's a race. I think they're gonna get it first, guys. Ah, I should've done that. Yeah, they're gonna get it. Boom! I found something. Well, we'll give it a try. If not, we'll go to Anur. Decisions. They're building too, aren't they? <laughs> Look at that. It's a race. Well, if not. Yeah, we're not going to get it. Colony established. High five. All right. Say design. You can come here, and you're gonna go and get us here. So we're gonna go to Bardigan next. We'll get in there. We'll get the minerals, and we'll get the observation post. Um. Yeah, and Mublar, you are definitely going to become our. next star base so we're going to upgrade you and i think all right incoming transmission the mystic order well we're over the time that i wanted to keep so we are going to keep this here um and we'll talk about the caravanners next time we play um anyway thank you very much if you've liked the video please like if you like the content please subscribe to the channel spread the word hit the uh bell button to be notified when i post new videos my name is Darwin, it's been a pleasure, and I will see you on the flip side.